Hey everybody, I am Atoris, and welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and sneakers. And today, we're going to be covering one of my favorite cars of all time. It's been almost 17 years since the launch of the Lamborghini Gallardo. And when this thing came out, it was a monster. This thing was packing 500 horsepower and it could do 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds in the quarter mile and 12.4 seconds. And even today, you can see it being used as an icon for flexing. We still see it in modern music videos as well as Instagram influencers. Fun fact, did you know in the music video for Mercy, a song that you would think was talking about the Lamborghini Murcielago had actually a Lamborghini Gallardo instead? I don't know, I always just thought that was kind of funny. But that's besides the point. The point I'm making today is, is this car still worth it today? Well, I would definitely agree that the looks and sound has aged tremendously. <laughs> But I think we can all argue that the performance has not. So in this video, we're going to be going over 8 cars that are faster than the Lamborghini Gallardo for half the money. And just for reference, here is the cheapest Lamborghini I have found using Auto Tempest on Car Gurus. I'm not sponsored by Auto Tempest, but that would be nice, you know, hit me up. Anyways, this car is going for $78,000. And the cars that are be on the list are half that. So let's see if these Gallardo owners are still trying to flex after meeting these cars at a stoplight. So our first car on the list, and it's a personal favorite of mine, it's the Camaro ZL1 from the year 2012, where they just had the body style just right. This car is packing a 6.2 liter V8 making 580 horsepower, which was more than the Lamborghini Gallardo of the year had. Chevy was definitely shooting big for this car. It can do 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, just under 4, and the quarter mile in 12.1 seconds. And don't let this muscle car can fool you. This car can definitely handle. This was a time when muscle cars were transitioning from straight line rippers to track killers. And it also has four seats, so you and three other friends can watch you pass up those Gallardos. And just in case you're wondering, I did find a 2012 going for $28,000 on car gurus, which is just an absolute steal. And another thing I forgot to mention is it's supercharged, so modability is definitely there. So a perfect all-round car to start off this list. <laughs> Next is a car that I really wanted to show that it can be a supercar. We have a 2007 Corvette Z06. Making 505 horsepower from its 7 liter V8. This bad boy can do 0-60 to 60 in 3.6 seconds and the quarter mile in 11.8. It's honestly a damn shame that a lot of these Corvettes were only recognized as sports cars and not supercars. Because this car, when it came out, was battling a lot of supercars from the time. Cars like, obviously, the Gallardo and the Ferrari F430. It was actually insane. Like, it was like America saying, yes, we have supercars. Yes, here it is. Acknowledge us. But because it's a Corvette and it was on the cheaper side, a lot of people have them. So I guess it kind of lost its exotic flair. But because they made a lot of them, they are now going for really cheap. I found this example of a 2007 Corvette on cars.com going for $28,000. Once again, an absolute steal. So right now, if you're going for a slight quarter life crisis, this car would not be a bad pick at all. Our next one on this list is a kind of funny one. It's a Mazda Miata. But not just any Mazda Miata, a monster Miata. What is that, you ask? It's when you take a Miata and you shove a V8 in it. Okay, now I know if I was including modern cars on this list, this list would just be a thousand cars long. But this one is pretty funny. But just think about it, all right? Imagine having a V8 Miata, okay? You're just cruising along, chilling in your little tiny sports car. You know, you stop at a light, and all of a sudden a Lamborghini pulls up beside you. 
You know, it's a rich kid probably taking out his dad's car with some hot chick in the other seat. It's revving its engine, it's flexing, thinking it's just gonna smoke your little ass. The light turns green, it goes, you gotta get a two second head start, and then you just launch that thing and blow the doors off it. And believe me, that girl is getting out that car and getting inside your Miata. But anyhow, I see people sell kits for the V8 that's in the Coyote Mustang, or the legendary LS engine. And this could have anywhere from 400 to 500 plus horsepower. Zero to 60, probably in the low three seconds or probably quicker. Quarter mile time, definitely under 11. I mean, it's a V8 in a car that weighs less than 2,500 pounds. And another thing is the price can vary a lot on this car. I mean, you can do it yourself and I'm pretty sure you can get one of these for under $20,000. But if you look in the buy one, you know, already made, I found one that was selling on YouTube. It's probably already been sold, but it's going for $32,000, which seems about right for one of these. And yeah, if you're still not convinced to get a Miata and put a V8 in it, here's a video that I'm just going to leave off with, with a Miata beating a Lamborghini Aventador. Wow! <laughs> And just a friendly reminder, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please like and share for that YouTube algorithm, as well as subscribe. I'm pretty much there for watch hours for YouTube monetization, and it's all thanks to you guys, so thank you guys so much. Now let's not waste any more time, let's get back into this list. Alright, so those past three cars are really cool, but uh, let's start getting some luxury here. You know, Lamborghinis are pretty luxurious, you know, we like to go fast, but we also like to stay a little comfy. So here I have the Cadillac TTSV. Specifically, get the years from 2009 and up, because that's when they came with the supercharged 6.2 liter V8. The same one that's in the Camaro, but with just a little less horsepower. This thing has 538 compared to the 580 that's in the Camaro, but it's still pretty dang fast. It does 0 to 60 in about 4 seconds and the quarter mile in 12.2 seconds. And you can get these cars in either a 4 door or a coupe. The coupe looks a little awkward in my opinion, so I would get the 4 door. You would just be having that lifestyle of dropping your kids off in the morning and racing Lamborghinis at night. And the price for getting into that lifestyle, here's an example on cars.com, is only $28,000. And this is just a pretty decent example. I've seen more go for less, but I wanted to keep it kind of clean for this list. Definitely a good all around car. I mean, it's got practicality, it's cheap, it's luxurious, and it's definitely got some performance. So the CTS Alright, I've been doing way too many GM cars. Let's kick it over to the European German segment now, where we're going to have cars like the BMW M3, specifically the 2015 and up models. This BMW is carrying a 3.0 liter V6 that is twin turboed. It makes only 426 horsepower, less than the Gallardo, but don't be scared because it does 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds and these cars are known to also handle pretty well and are is packed with a lot of features and loaded with luxury. This is still probably one of the best sports stands you can possibly get on the market and because it's a German luxury car it depreciated like hell. For example this car was the price of a used Gallardo when brand new around $70,000. But now I found one on cars.com going for $36,000. It lost half its value in just six years. But I would still get this car because I think these BMW M3s definitely look better than the new ones. And these cars also handle well and be known to be pretty comfortable. Just be careful because it is a foreign car so parts are expensive and maintenance would leave a big hole in your wallet. But overall, the BMW M3 in 2015 is not a terrible buy, especially if you're looking to beat the other European monster, the Gallardo. Our next car on this list is for people who don't think that the BMW is their style. It's the Mercedes C63. 
And I get it, you know, BMW may not be your style, you know, you don't like the V6, because this one is packing a 4 liter V8, and it's pushing 503 horsepower, propelling this car to 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds and a quarter mile in 12.2. I managed to find a 2015 Mercedes C63 AMG going for about $37,000 with decent mileage too. And you also can't deny that these cars look classy as hell. You can get these cars in a four-door sedan or a coupe. Like the BMW, these cars are known to be really comfortable and handle amazingly as well. And also like the BMW, it's going to put up a pretty big fight against a Gallardo. Alright, so all those cars are pretty cool and all, but how about we have a car that can beat the Lamborghini Gallardo without it hearing it coming? Bring in the 2014 Tesla Model S P85D. This is the original OG really fast Tesla. This car doesn't have an engine, but supposedly has 691 horsepower. But because the car weighs over 5,000 pounds, it can only do 0 to 60 and 3.3 seconds and do the quarter mile and 11.8 like i said only so if you're trying to get in and see what teslas are all about this one would not be a bad pick because it has most of the awesome tesla features like the self-driving stuff so you're going to be able to beat lamborghinis without even having your hands on the wheel and now is the perfect time to buy one of these cars because I found one on cars.com going for $28,000. And these cars were also pretty expensive when brand new, so that's a deal. And now as always, I love saving the best for last. You look at all these cars, but they're just not hitting the spot for you. You know, the Lamborghini, it's exotic. It's nice. It screams supercar. So we're going to need something exotic. Bring in the Porsche 911. This car has a 3.6 liter V6 that has one of the best sounding exhaust notes from a V6. It has 385 horsepower that can do 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. And the quarter mile and 12.3 so i barely made this list but i just had to include it and the one i found is also a pretty cool one it's the carrera s cabriolet this one i found is on cars.com and it's going for thirty-six thousand dollars. so for half the price of a lamborghini garrido you're getting a drop top four seater exotic car and it's a porsche 911 so it's gonna handle like a supercar too so not only will you beat the guard on a straight line, you're gonna be beating it on the track too. All while having the roof down. So this is probably the best way to kill a Lamborghini in style. And that about wraps up this list. So the eight cars that are faster than the Lamborghini Gallardo for half the price. What'd you guys think about it? Comment down below your opinion, like and share for that YouTube algorithm, and last, but certainly not least, subscribe.